Have you ever wondered about life on other planets? Outside of science fiction, that is. Yeah, I'm talking about in real life. A planet that's outside the solar system is called an exoplanet. Several types of exoplanets have been theorized, but none have been proven yet. And one possible type is called a Hycean planet. This is a planet with a liquid water ocean and a hydrogen atmosphere. The ocean might be hotter or colder than Earth's oceans, but we've learned that both factors influence the development of complex life. One such possible world is planet K2-18b. Yeah, I know it's a mouthful, but that's how most planets are known with scientific designations. But what's special about this planet is that scientists have detected carbon molecules in its atmosphere. Why is this important? Well, the presence of carbon atoms suggests tiny living things might be present on K218b. You see, carbon is one of the building blocks of life. It's an element that can bond with four different elements all at the same time. And this quality enables complex molecules to form. Chains of these molecules are needed for biological life to develop. Water, too, is one of the prerequisites. Now, ocean temperatures on one Hycean planet can vary from that on another planet. Hotter oceans are going to develop complex life more quickly, and this is due to the temperature's impact on the metabolism. Warmer temperatures increase the rate of biological reactions in a living thing's body, thus moving along its development. The opposite is going to be true for colder temperatures. We used to think that the rate at which an exoplanet could develop complex life was going to be modeled after Earth's history. But now, we know that it's not necessarily so. That's why scientists are so interested in planet K218b. If life can develop under both hotter and colder temperatures, well, there's going to be a lot to learn, and much to change our understanding about the origins of life itself. Find this interesting? Go visit the Interstellar Research Group at irg.space, where we've got lots more info. And I'll look forward to seeing you there.